Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm driving through the Derbyshire town of Glossop. We're going to the Manor Park Miniature Railway, which is just this side of Glossop. So I've just driven past the railway station in the town centre, and Manor Park is just up here. So the railway's been here for over 50 years. It's a seven and a quarter inch gauge railway. It's quite an extensive one, so I'm really looking forward to my trip on this railway in this very pleasant Derbyshire town. So now I come up to this roundabout here and you'll just be able to see that we are about to turn into uh, Manor Park. It's just here. <laughs> so here we are. This is Manor Park where we're just pulling into now. It's not a very pleasant place. Um, there's the, the river. So I'm going to park the car and then believe the miniature railway will be just up there. So um, get the car parked and um, off we go to ride the Manor Park, oh blimey, Manor Park Nature Railway. Now it's going to get a bit not made road here. So let's park the car by the river and um, now let's go and find the railway. So we've arrived at Manor Park in my larder. Down here is the Shelf Brook. I'm going to go and find the Minich Railway. This was once a country estate and it was known, it used to be known as Royal Park and there was a big stately home somewhere in the estate. I'm not going to go and look for that today, I thought we'd do that another time. Today's video is about the Minich Railway but I do think this is probably a very nice park and there's definitely potential to do more videos in the future. So at some point we'll come back here. It's already really nice walking along by the Shelf Brook. We're going to go over the river now and we're going to head on up to where the railway is so I'm going to walk up the side of the river and uh, let's go and find the trains. So I've just walked up the river from the car park, cars parked up there, we're on our way to find this miniature railway. It's a really attractive park this, there's lots of different things, look it says lake and woodland walks, formal gardens, there's a cafe. I think I'll need a cup of tea when I finish, it's raining. Um, but let's go and get a ride on the Manor Park Miniature Railway. That's what we've come here for. So I believe the little railway station is just up here. Well, the blossom looks nice on the cherry trees. It's like being in Japan. Not that I've ever been to Japan, but you know, you see all these cherry blossom pictures. Um, and I think the station is just up here. Look at that though, that cherry blossom. So pink and nice looking, very attractive. So, walking through the cherry blossom just gardens and little bits of grass everywhere it's um seems like a really attractive little park and here is the railway station so i'm gonna go up these steps and um hopefully we won't have to wait too long for a train to arrive uh, see look it says manor park miniature railway and here's the railway station there's a turntable so um what we're going to do now, hopefully when the rain eases off, a train should come and we should go for a ride on the Manor Park Miniature Railway.
we've just had a very enjoyable trip on the railway. Um, it was great to see the trains. They even did a run pass for me. There's just a couple of things I wanted to show you before I finish the video. So this is like the spur that goes up to where the station is. I've noticed here there appears to be a little section of disused train. Just a slight depression in the ground. So there must have once been a third side of a triangle here. Now, the other thing I want to show you, because there's something this railway has, which is incredibly rare. I only know of three others I can think of in this country, one of which we've already seen at a miniature railway, and that is the track here. Now, if you look, this is the line from the station, and this is the loop at the top. But see what happens here? That's not a section of points, nor is it a wider gauge electrified railway. This is called a gauntlet. This is where two tracks effectively run inside one another. So if we look here, you can see the two tracks join and then they row, they become one. So obviously you can only have a train going in one direction. So effectively become one. And um, it's a way of not having to have a moving point, but it's quite a rare thing. The only other places I can think of that have them is the narrow gauge railway at Legoland has them, Croydon Tramlink has them, and Beaconscott Light Railway, which we've been to before, that also has a siding which has gauntleted tracks. So if you look here, they've stopped running trains now, that's why there's a gate across. So the railway goes over the river, and you can just see on the other side of the river, the gauntleted tracks go their separate ways. So when you come on the train, you do a loop around the top, and then you head back to the station. So what I'm gonna do now, because it is raining, the weather's not brilliant, I'm gonna head back um, to my car and um, I think I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you're ever in Glossop, do come and visit this railway. Um, today we did come by in my larder, but you can come here by train. There is a railway station in Glossop, so maybe another day we'll come by train, but do come and visit this really pleasant little railway, which really has some quite attractive scenery in um, this very attractive manor park so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe comment tell your friends thank you very much for watching from manor park railway goodbye